So after the Xbox showcase, I was left wondering, where's Perfect Dark? Like, what happened to this game? And fortunately, the other day, thanks to Rebecca Valentine, we actually got some more information surrounding this game. And it comes straight from sources from the initiative and uh, Crystal Dynamics and even certain affinity. It's crazy to think that this game was announced in 2020 and we actually seen a CGI trailer for this game. Unfortunately, this game has not made it much past that point since then. Now, fortunately, since Crystal Dynamics has came onto the project and tried to somewhat help the initiative, not so much take control over the project, uh, it seems like the initiative and Crystal Dynamics are actually making headway on this project, but it's still two to three years out. And like I said, after the Xbox showcase, I literally said to myself, where is Perfect Dark? And this kind of just stings a little bit. After this game was shown off at the Game Awards, we actually got uh, a video where the developers kind of talked about their vision for the game and what they really wanted out of this game. It's crazy because when we look at some of the stuff that is said in Rebecca's interview with some of the developers, it still seems like that still seems to be the overall goal. And the crazy thing is we have to start looking at things that we know Xbox is doing, what they've done, and really where they're trying to go to understand why this game is still two to three years out and just the scope and scale of this game that we're potentially going to get so perfect dark when it first was announced developers were cited to even say they wanted the game to be big on scope xbox wanted this game to be a quadruple a game when this term first started coming out and when ps5s and xbox series hit the market we really did start seeing this term, but we never really seen the result of this term because of the, the, you know, the lockdowns and everything, which have you. But it's crazy that now we're starting to see with Starfield games that are really starting to push in and fit the bill of a quadruple A game because they're, they're so massive in size. And to think that Perfect Dark was supposed to be that at one point, and still very well can be is just truly amazing because I don't think we've had we don't have any kind of game that is like that still and if Xbox is truly pushing the envelope of games like this to that quadruple a level especially because again like I said we have to look at the things that we do know we know Xbox has stopped making games for the Xbox one consoles so every game that is made from this point on is going to be series exclusives so you're only going to be able to play these games on an xbox series s x or on a pc and that's huge because we're truly getting into the next generation of gaming i'm not saying every game that xbox releases from this point will be quadruple a games but what i am saying is that xbox is going to start trying to hit that point more and more I think another thing from this article that is interesting is that the devs say multiple times that Xbox really was more so hands off and kind of just let them create the game they wanted to create, gave them the IP and let them do what they want. Again, we've heard this in the past. Xbox doesn't know how to manage studios, this, that, and the third. Uh, there's also parts in this article that mention that Matt Booty went on and said the exact opposite that he actually was on the phone with these devs quite often but it all came down to a mix of developers not really knowing a clear direction to go in for this game having too many ideas and not one clear direction and it sucks because it's now halted development and made it restart essentially now that crystal dynamics has jumped on the project with the initiative they've already made more progress and more of a foundational progress than the initiative and certain affinity had made in the beginning i love games like tomb raider and stuff but it seems that crystal dynamics is 
keen on just helping and not so much taking the driver's seat on this game. This is still a game that is coming from the initiative, but Crystal Dynamics is there to help them with the things they do need. It seems that both teams are just really going under the name, the blanket name of Team Perfect Dark. And honestly, if they're the ones that have to make the progress on this game that's gonna get it to the finish line, that's great. Again, it doesn't have to be a quadruple A game. If the initiative's first goal is still around trying to make this big grand scope of a game, I truly do think this game could be a hit for Xbox, especially because it's a franchise that we have not seen in years. And when we did see it, it was on hardware that was so limited. And just the, the, the games that we had back then versus the games we have now are drastically different. So even getting a triple A game in the Perfect Dark franchise is gonna make so many fans happy just to see Joanna Dark back. The thing I wanna get at with this is Xbox is really starting to show that the gamble they took years ago on acquiring studios, making new studios, and really just betting on themselves is I'm not going to say starting to pay off, but it's starting to show signs that this was the right move to do. You may have lost the, the battle at the, the beginning, but again, I'm not talking console wars, but you're going to win the war at the end because you'll end up having so much value for gamers. And, and I think that's the main thing when you look at a game like Perfect Dark, this game could have came out in a rush state where developers were clashing it was so many different ideas and the gameplay was not really streamlined the game could have been all over the place and they could have just rushed it out to just have a game on a shelf in 2022 2023 i mean hell we, we could have been playing perfect dark right now and it could have been something that was just not what it should have been and i think i don't know man blessings kind of happen in disguise and i think what happened here uh crystal dynamics jumping on the team and kind of just helping the initiative's vision go forward and kind of streamlining ideas because they have that experience and they kind of have that uh leadership i think we're gonna get a better product from it and honestly uh perfect dark either way like i said it's gonna hit so what do you guys think do you feel like waiting two to three more years for perfect dark is valid do you feel like nobody really cares about the franchise anymore the other day we we just talked about two other franchises that are currently just shelved and it seems like microsoft has just been waiting for the right developers to want to make these games it's not so much that they're hands off and just throwing money at these devs and saying make these games but they're more so asking developers, here's the library of games that we have. This is the catalog you can create from. Go make something you want. And I think in a game space, that's that's truly what we need. And I don't know, man. You can call me what you want, but let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited to see more about Perfect Dark, hear more about Perfect Dark? It's probably gonna be a while before we see anything more on perfect dark but when we do i promise it's probably gonna be very very good i don't know man i think having an xbox is starting to shape up to actually pay off and it's starting to actually show so let me know down in the comment section below this was more so like just all over the place i kind of just wanted to really talk about how i feel xbox is handling development in these studios with their ips and stuff and it's just kind of piggybacking on my last video so if you have not seen that one go watch that one just talked about banjo conquer and now we're talking about perfect dark and joanna dark and hopefully team perfect dark can wrap this one up and get it to us in a great package so i will catch you guys in the next video peace out